guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys another video on the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. Today, we are doing a video on Fortune's Keep. So there is a new map on Warzone, as most of you probably know, Fortune's Keep. So every time there's a new map or like Caldera came out or anything like that, I kind of want to touch on and do a test on the map and see how well it holds up. I'm honestly shocked and well... Uh, and honestly very surprised of how well uh, it ran. Now, obviously, we know it can play Rebirth and can play Caldera and stuff like that, but, you know, with new maps and stuff like that, sometimes there's bugs, sometimes they don't want, don't want to run too well, uh, stuff like that. So I was a little concerned and worried, you know, I was like, if the HP Pavilion was going to hold up pretty well or how good the gameplay and how smooth it was going to be. And I have to say, guys, I'm still impressed with this laptop. I mean, it's been, it's been so long... I mean, it's like, it's been so long that I've had the laptop almost two years now, and it's still able to sit here and play, like, Warzone and stuff. Now, I do have medium settings on. I did turn a little things here and there. Most things are on low. Um, I do have a settings test of the or best settings for Warzone if you guys want to go check that out. It's on my playlist. Uh, but today, we're just kind of doing a test here on Fortune's Keep. Played smoothly. I had smooth gameplay. I didn't have any interruptions or issues. I do turn V-Sync on. V-Sync's probably just going to be your be uh, best bet to be on uh, 60 FPS. I mean, guys, like I said, there's nothing there's nothing bad to say. that It ran perfectly fine on Fortune's Keep just as it does on Rebirth or Caldera. Had no issues with gameplay or anything like that. Just, just, another, just another, you know, video, another game, another map. Just to show you guys how good this laptop still is doing good. I mean, after all this time, it's still able to play. It's pretty impressive, man. I mean, especially with everything going up now, you know, we get newer graphics cards, newer Gen CPUs and all like that every year. And, you know, HP Pavilion still holding up there. I do have 16 gigs of RAM in this build, so if you want RAM or anything like that, there are some links down in the description. There are Amazon affiliate links. Uh, if you guys want to go check them out, up to you. You can check for the pricing and everything like that. If you guys have any comments or anything like that, let me uh, you know let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions about settings, uh, game tests you want to see, anything like that, just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Um, I'm going to bring you tons more. i got tons more ideas planned for this year and some different videos along the way. I'm doing a Modern Warfare 2 remastered test on the HP Villain as well, as well as what my thoughts on the game is going to be. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, hit that like button, subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Down till the countdown is complete to redeploy for free. Any point where the action will shorten its duration. Execute all targets in the AO. Enemy radar jammer detected in your area. Enemy cluster strike! Watch your heads! Gas is inbound.
got a second chance. Make it count. Enemy UAV active. You've got another chance to make a difference. Mercenaries called in a supply chopper to offload their cash reserves. Might be able to ambush them. <laughs> Enemy soldier nearby. Loadout drop headed your way. Keep your senses sharp. An enemy team is tracking your location. You know what they say about revenge. Get to the new safe zone. Gas is closing in. Radar jammer in your area. Enemy UAV active. Enemy dropping into the AO. UAV active. 25 remaining. Gas is moving. Enemy UAV active. You outmaneuvered the enemy trackers. Clever sneaks. Enemy dropping into the AO. 